Oh fuck! Yes, yes, yes! More fish! Uh, let's go to the arms and let's go. Ooh, that looks good. Hell yeah. We do that. Easy money. Fuck yeah. Alright, back to it. I'm curious about this protein artifact. Oh, back to Eden Prime, let's go! Nine fucking points? Holy shit. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. It is so weird to be back to Eden Prime. It's a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sam. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. 
I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... Uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> Hell yeah! What's that? Oh, okay. What's the fuck? What the fuck was that? Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they've gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints... Uh, died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. If these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Of course Shepard, not. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? Huh. I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. It's kind of wild that we're fighting Cerberus at the same time. But get fucked, Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Like oh. the Collectors. Oh shit! Those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Oh, hell yeah! The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. This could be what we need to finish the Prothean device. I hope so. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Well, hell yeah. Oh, fuck! These motherfuckers! There they are. That uh, dinner was delicious, Amara. Thank you so much. Oh, Jesus. Understood. Oh my god. Will do. 
Well, we're gonna get a codex for that. Get fucked! All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Those guys were not fucking. Those guys were fucking monsters. Jesus Christ. Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We pulled most of the troops from the north neighborhoods to assist all remaining troops in the north neighborhood. Continue standard protocol activities to maintain the illusion of a large scale presence in the area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Well, hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Jurassic Nate, hell yeah! How you guys doing? Why can I not back past the store? What the fuck? Oh, is it because we're? I guarantee you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh, that's a fucking turret. Oh, oh, oh! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, we're gonna die. God damn it! God damn it! What's up, hell yeah! Thanks for stopping by! Much appreciated! I promise I'm not that bad. <laughs> Beard and Fluster. Name is Flessy. This party's today. getting crazy. Let's rock. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, welcome to the Fluff Club. Welcome to the club, my dude. Hell yeah. He Oh, hell yeah! He's such a good dude, hell yeah! Understood. What the fuck?! They weren't here last time. I got someone doing our someone doing mass fact and I said say less. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you so much, Imperfectian. There, that lab found eh. footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Okay, yeah, before we do that, we gotta find more more information for the Eden Prime colonists, right? It's over here. <laughs> Thank you. You playing on insanity? Nah, I'll tell you. <laughs> I would play it on Sanity if I was good at video games. I'm fucking terrible though. Well, I'm I'm awful. Maybe one day we'll do an insanity run. Also, this mission always gives me anxiety, but only because I always worry about missing the war asset. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, this is my first time playing uh playing this game in years. Oh, thank you for the follow, Belladonna. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Where's the pot data, then? Okay, it's in here. Hell yeah. Legendary? Yeah, we're doing Legendary Edition. I, uh... I thought we might as well try it out.
Fuck yeah! That gun's so cool. that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The <laughs> Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Well, we can do that. Yeah, this is a... Uh... God, this has been so fucking long since I've done... done this game. Anything over here? No? They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. Jesus we didn't Christ. kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. So good. So good. I love this. Ah. I love this series so much. Oh, fuck! Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Stasis deactivation. Before we find that, give us more data. No data. Huh? God damn. God damn. It's crazy how much going from Mass Effect 2 to 3, he moves so much fucking faster. Let's go! Something. 
I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Gameplay is so much better in this game. Backup though. forces are here. Ah, oh, fuck off! Than in the other one. Oh yeah, uh, this is easily one of my favorite fucking um, assault rifles in game. Oh fuck! You. I thought you could set up a turn. Oh fuck! Oh these motherfuckers. Okay. All right. God damn it. Oh my god, there's no there's nowhere to fucking There we go. There we go. I use uh, I used either this or the Valkyrie. Ooh, fuck, it's been so long since I used the Valkyrie. They've retracted the bridge. Oh, we have me. to find another way across. Uh, can't you just like levitate over there, Liara? What are you doing? What are you doing? More equipment to salvage. Let's go. Any data? Any emails? Come on. Give us some deets. Let's go! Troop deployment. Oh, wait, no. We already did that. We already looked more at that intel one. to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Oh, we died in between then. That's why. Okay. All right. Understandable. Have a good day. Um, over here. What's over here? I think we've already been here too. Yeah, we totally have. Find another way to the pod. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Guys, I promise I'm not stupid. Guys, I promise that was just a fluke. I promise. Well, hell yeah. What's over here, though, first? Let's go get our boy! I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. 
It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, it's a wave defense. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Where'd they go? Oh, they just dropped them off. This gun feels so good. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Yeah, I gotta take a shit. Has the light pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I Where? can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Where? Where can you. What? What are you. In here? Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Where? Oh, fuck! Now. New squad mate acquired. There, you've got it. Got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. We've got to be, be the weirdest looking. 
<laughs> people he could have woken up to. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Holy shit! Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human, Darian. I'm surrounded by primitives. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Primitives. Bro, you were in a box for 50,000 years. Who's the primitive? A living Prothean. That's correct, Ed. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Get Fox servers, we win. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We can trust him. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Fair, fair, okay, understandable. 
Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Well, like your beacons. Hell yeah. Yes. Which? Oh yeah! The Prothean Brainwash form! You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Mm, then I take sucks. it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. <laughs> I then I'd that. say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the Crucible? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. Hell yeah! And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals. Dude, Liara journals is fucking amusing. creaming herself right sorry now. Sorry, I finally mastered writing. I'm sorry. Never mind. What do you wish to know? So sad that the only thing I know about the series is a favorite of my brother and the woman that voices female Shepard reads an audiobook by my favorite author. Oh shit, for real? Hell yeah! I feel like the um fe the the femship voice actor. I feel like she was in another, another game that I really like, but I can't. I can't remember at the at, at the top of my head. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. 
Yeah, she reads to sleep in a sea of stars. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Dude, yeah there is. Fuck yeah there is. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the- We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't oh. want to? They weren't given a choice. Yeah, this is my favorite video game franchise. It is me, I am brother. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Mass Effect fucking rules. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Metacon the War! Arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. The Metacon War! Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Oh, fuck. They, he literally just told us, hey, if we would have come out, we would have fucking ruled you guys. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Oh, that's well, good. Well, thank you. I think. Well, that's good. They saved us. That's so sweet. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. We met Vigil. Several years ago, we found a Prothean B.I. that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. Inusanon? If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. 
I never saw the citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Well, hey, you can you can come see with us. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Well, hell yeah. Uh, do we already... What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Do we already do this? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. My brain, short-term Those memory that is faced not the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down yeah, we already, from we already did this. soldier. We are this. They yeah, gave okay. us fragments of what happened. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Crucible? Only the stories we heard. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Yes, we need that MacGuffin. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Uh, Javik, what are your what is your uh, stances on um, Batarians? What do you how do you feel about Batarians? Huh? Uh, no, no reason, no reason. Balanced is pure murder. Murder there. Commander. Power grid is in the green. Power grid is in the green. Murder there. Oh, I love him so much. All right, let's let's go talk to James, I guess. Yuck. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Cortez is the dude. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800 pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Yeah, Rex would have eaten you alive. It doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Sir. Sir. What about you, Mr. Vega? I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy's not all there. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years. Last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, I bet oh, the fuck. elusive man's boiling in his brandy right about now. Took that protein right out from under him. Get fucked, elusive man. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Oh yeah, you're going crazy. Yeah, no, uh, Cortez, Cortez 100% is the best gay king ever. It's my boy. My poor little gay heart. I love Cortez. Cortez is awesome. Stop beating yourself up. 
It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Caden didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here, right now. We have a war to win, so clear your head and focus. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. It will not be mentioned again. Aw, oh, they're the coolest. <laughs> Cortez, dude, I would do a no, I would do a no romance playthrough just to romance Cortez. I kind of want to. Fuck yeah. I've never, I never actually romanced Cortez. Um, can you actually romance him? I don't know. I can't. I can't Say remember about Doctor Chocolate. Oh. The colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Oh fuck. Same. I would totally romance Dr. Chalk was. Oh, hell yeah, you can romance Cortez. Hell yeah. Can't get behind Venship. I love Jennifer Hale, but her performance seems kind of stale. Fair. Oh, fuck. Is he I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but... It would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Oh, fuck, you're young. Oh, fuck, you're young. Thank you.